As soon as Don Wells found out, the reward fund was set to expire. He started a rumor that it would all go to the Churchill Rescue Squad. He knew that that was not true, that only a small amount would go to the Children's Advocacy Fund. The two biggest donors had set their funds to either never expire or to go to other avenues. <clears throat> he also stated that he thought that the reward fund should either stay active until summer is found, which I do agree with, or when summer turns 30 or 40. Now, this is not the first talk out of these people about when Summer comes back when she is grown, 30, or 40. Go back and listen to the previous video that I uploaded just a few minutes ago. The problem that I have with this is that Don Wells has not wanted any contact with the media until money was involved. Um... When Ansley Daniels wanted to do a follow-up with Don Wells, she was met at the bottom of the driveway with do not trespass signs, and he would not come down and talk to her. Tim Coop has not been able to make contact with these people since the night that Summer Wells disappeared and has only had contact with the We Can Bring You Hope victims advocates and Don Wells makes it out that the social media YouTube creators are the ones that are causing chaos on social media. I suggest that the news channels go back and just search for Don Wells on toilet doing drugs. Um, Candace Wells telephone prank. Um, just Don Wells antics, period. And see that it's not the creators. Twisted True Candy would be a good, um, creator for them to look up for Donald Wells antics and pranks. And go to the creator AB to see where he has already been accused and charged with sexual assault of a five-year-old. Um, so it's not social media creators. It is Don Wells and Candace Bly themselves causing social media chaos. Don, where is Summer? Candace, where is Summer? Bring that baby home. Bring her home. Where is Summer? That's all we want to know now. Where is Summer?